Hello, creative people. Good evening. How are you? I hope you all are good. Okay. Well, um, yeah. Today also I'm here with brand new video and I'm creating a series of video where you can learn or you can become a good logo designer. Okay. So, and today's video I'm going to talk about the color theory and uh, logo design, obviously, especially. Um, color theory so on today's uh, video i'm trying to talk about the psychology of color and branding okay and choosing color palettes uh, for a different industry and the targeted audience and yeah some other point working with color harmony and the contrast and implementing color in digital and the print context i think uh, i'm not going to cover this here because it will be a little bit lengthy okay let's see what are the things that we uh, i can cover on today's video well oh i will copy this okay and i will paste here okay oh no 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 okay i will do one thing so what i do is i will just screen take a screenshot and paste it here okay well let's begin okay so colors so just a very very basic idea try to imagine like how the world or the entire earth looks like if there is no color i think it's completely a doll right so there is a color because of that we feel fun okay so whenever we see any object whenever we see any landscape whenever we see anything okay there is a kind of color okay and that color gives us a very joyful life okay and uh, so sometimes uh, we try to use okay like try to build a color a colorful uh, life in your life okay if some person is very very sad then we tend to say that try to bring a colorful life so colorful is not only the specific color it's create a kind of emotion okay so because of that first let's understand what colors means or what that particular color say so because of that i try to collect a few okay uh, and there are primary colors i think you have a uh, idea what are the primary color if don't then it's okay so rgv these are the main primary color okay r means red g means uh, green and rgb b means blue in digital uh, world okay i'm not saying in a print media these are the main color so red means excitement strength love energy danger these are the things okay so there is only a basic guidelines okay it's just a basic uh, some few points that i uh like uh trying to give you but there is a way more huge meaning and there is there is a way more way to represent your uh, color with a brand okay so likewise orange is uh, like create our confidence success bravery and sociability fun okay so creativity yellow is like uh, connecting with the creativity happiness warm cheer and sometimes we can say like yellow is uh, now uh, we can see yellow color from the far from okay in a distance also likewise a green is obviously nature healing freshness quality so bl blue is trust peace loyalty competence okay so pink compassion sincerity sophisticated uh, sophistication sweet soft and uh royalty luxury purple okay spirituality ambition so brown uh dependable result uh, trustworthy simple black formality and uh, dramatic okay sophistication security uh, sorry a uh, black also company luxury also 
quite clean simplicity in no sense and honest these are the things that color say okay these are the main basic colors okay so let's try to uh, find out whether these things is right uh, right or not wrong okay so for example let's say hospitals are quite uh, 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 focused on healing the people let's say what are the logos that we found for the hospitals okay okay so that we can identify hospitals hospitals logo let's go look hospitals see we can see the mix of blue and the green because obviously blue is trust first uh, the patient should uh, like trust the hospitals okay their particular hospital will uh, treat me well and i will be fine okay and green like so whatever you can see the logo most of the hospitals logo has a uh, blue and um, uh, green mixed of both color obviously there is no any fixed rules here so first you have to understand this okay these are the basic um, rules and the emotion that generally user or normal customer try uh, sees around the uh, like uh, place okay but it is your way how you can play okay for example if you look into uh, like a red cross and uh, uh, blood bank then there is a red color why because uh, they are working with blood but uh, Red Cross also up, like they are doing uh, to save the people, isn't it? Save the people's mean I think you have to use the green or uh, uh, blue color, but why they are using red? Okay, so red is red with the blood. That's why they are using red color. Okay, so it doesn't matter what kind of color that you use or not. No, I'm so sorry. I think I have to correct this sentence. It matters what kind of color that you use with any specific brand, okay? But obviously, it is uh, depends on your branding process also. Like selecting a specific color doesn't mean your brand uh, will immediately communicate what you trying to uh, like say or um, let's say your mark or your logo will able to uh, communicate okay uh, what uh, you trying to uh, communicate with the help of that mark i'm not saying that the symbol is a communicate uh, communicating something it is a means of communication it will help okay it just help but it takes time okay whenever like let's see uh, there is one company it is started yesterday and uh, today you designed a uh, one logo and next day it will communicate uh, the thing that you uh, tend to know it's not like that it's a way 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 long process once you become a good brand and uh, once you um, follow the branding process then it will uh, it will the mark will be the uh, communication uh, communicative device for your uh, brand or company okay well basically let's say let's let's explore some other logo bank banks logo so most of the banks if you see like we can see the uh, blue color obviously uh, we need to build the trust okay but beside that we can see the black also red also red means danger isn't it but there is another way of like looking the color red is uh, excitement strength love energy also so there are some other way of like communicating things okay that uh, there is no any one specific meaning of color but but that particular color gives a kind of emotions and a kind of uh, connection with customer so that we whenever we try to select any particular color so you have to able to understand the business model what kind of company is this okay what they are looking for and what they are actually doing 
So those are the things that you have to understand. And based on that, you have to select the color. So, well, there is uh, not much to talk about uh, regarding the color psychology. Okay. It's just that you need to understand the what color says. Okay. It's just a basic framework. And uh, it doesn't mean that you need to follow or uh, not follow, or like you need to follow or not. But whenever you are learning from something, then try to follow because you you are like uh, uh, tend to judge something based on the color. People try to tend to judge you also. If you like, for example, if you are a beginner and you chose some different color for the one pharmacy or. Uh, for hospital a very different color like uh, let's say brown or purple or any other color then uh, there might be a little bit class okay they might uh, like uh, say something uh, or negative comments on you or if you are a good on a storytelling then obviously you can uh, defend your okay whatever you are designing if you are on a specific guideline okay or if you have created something that you think it is good for that particular company don't put your personal perceptions while designing any logo or while creating any uh, sorry, uh, sorry uh, selecting any color go as per the company's overall theme what the company wants what they are doing what are their product what are their service what they actually wanted to do and what are the mission and vision what are the, what they want to achieve after five years or ten years try to understand those things and based on those things try to collect your select your color and then later you can like if someone say okay i don't like this color sometimes what happens like uh, the company owners or the uh, who are seeking the logo designer they put their own personal preference recently i am also facing similar uh, what you called uh, issues on one company okay so the company owner a ceo wanted to design uh, their logo and uh, for CEO that he want there are lots of competitors okay so he want a logo something that communicate their business model but as, as a logo designer this is not the right way to select a logo designer i don't know whether uh, you have noticed or not if you haven't noticed then i will uh, strongly suggest you to research about the apple logo if you like uh, search a first apple logo then there is a very very big logo there is a kind of one uh, i don't know what to say but the inspiration or the logo is is like einstein uh, like there is a one tree and uh, apple tree and the apple is uh, dropping on the way like it's in the middle and there is one person who is sitting uh, uh, on a, on a surface okay and uh, so I don't know who like gave the idea who wanted to make that kind of thing. means like the Apple company is inspired by that particular event because of that that Apple Inc is uh, established I don't know what was the issue what was the like reason what was the thought process when uh, Steve Jobs and their team uh, uh, his friends established that particular company but the first logo was like that okay let, let let me see let me show you here okay uh i don't want to explain apple logo first logo sorry uh apple uh first logo also see i will copy in uh and paste here okay so that you can see very clearly this is apple's first logo there is a one oh i'm so sorry there is a one apple and they are trying to highlight there you can see that there is a white uh in behind the apple okay and there is a one apple tree and one person is sitting okay so this is their first approach what they are trying to is they are trying to communicate something how the apple computer is uh, like uh, invented uh, sorry uh, started or established on that particular uh, way but later 
obviously we can see the changes on the logo and this is uh, the formal or, or uh, logo that uh, since 1977 they are uh, using this particular logo and because of that simplicity it is very very like easy to remember and understand what kind of company is and uh, what it refers to okay so so that's why so as, as a logo designer whenever you are trying to learn something then what you have to think is you have to understand the company's uh, mission vision values voice tone and what they want after 10 years 20 years 5 years and then try to choose a color or your logo or anything then you can uh, give a kind of logical answer see logo designer is a creative uh, creative uh, task okay creativity but at the same time you have to be a logical enough to um, uh, like have a good argument have a good healthy 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 discussion okay and uh, yeah well, let's move on a little bit again with uh, color for this. So, based on those things that you have to select this kind of, you have to understand this kind of psychology of that color, and then you can select a color based on that. So, how to select color and what are the format for technical? Uh, technically, if you are working for the uh, print media then you have to think CMYK. CMYK means sign, magenta, yellow, and uh, black. So whenever uh, the printing goes, like if you want to print something, then these four colors should be mentioned. So let me show you, okay, what does it mean uh, here? So option, yeah. So this is the color guide. See, C M Y K. Okay, I will choose one dialog box, any any rectangle box, and then I will try to apply. So I will apply, let's say, C, cyan, 50% of cyan and 50% of black. Then we can see this kind of color will be come out. Okay, so likewise, if, okay, now one by one, I will show you. If I apply 100% of cyan, then we can see this kind of color. So again, I will uh, make it zero. And if I apply magenta, this kind of color uh, we can get okay if i apply why only 100 percent we can see the yellow color and if i apply for the key or black then we get black okay this is the color uh, why we need to think about this kind of color format whenever we are uh, going to print but in the digital format again uh, we can go with the rgb red green and blue this is the our actual working process and grayscale and hsv is the like uh, some different version for your design ability to like find out the family okay so hsv, HSV means like hue saturation and uh, black or uh, tint so uh, this is the things and uh, technically you have to understand for example whenever you are designing a logo that means you need to create on cmyk also cause the logo goes to the print and you have to find out so for example what are the colors that you are using let's say simple uh, you created one logo suppose this is the logo okay and you apply this kind of color let's say uh, i don't i want to pass cmyk and uh, this color and you apply c and m let's say magenta 40 50 percent and sign also 50 percent okay for any particular brand so what do you have to mention in your design guideline is c equals to how much uh, 50 percent right and we apply another sorry why should why i so m i apply 50 percent right and why okay 50 percent and uh why how much zero we didn't apply and the uh, key we didn't apply any so this is how what you can what you have to do is you have to mention the color okay whenever you are handling or uh, hand over your uh complete file to your client so that is why you have to understand what is the c m y k so it is start from the zero to hundred percent so particular one color how much percentage you want to give and based on that 
like mix of all those color it will come out okay next thing is the rgb so simply for the rgb you don't have to like worry so what you can do is you can copy the hex code so again hex code also a same let's say uh, I, will, I will try to apply and and i will uh, copy the hex code so obviously the uh, i hope you are seeing the hex code also changing and here you can see and put as okay so the this is the color properties okay so whatever you apply for this has key or or this key thus both the what you call color values brings this color okay so that it will be easy to play or to identify your brand color and obviously uh, your job is to design a logo within a 15 days or one month or max to max 45 days or two months sometimes okay it's your job's design and you just uh, gave the file and you move on to the other project but for the company the logo is a very very important asset throughout the whole year simply the logo was designed in a 1977 but still i'm 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 hoping that they have a working file of that particular uh, uh, files working file of that particular days file first working file still they are keeping because it is their assets okay based on their uh what you called that particular files they are trying to using every time since 1977 to uh, 77 to 2015 there is no obviously they are trying to play with the color but the shape is constantly same okay their approach they have a different product because of that they have to play with the multiple color but they are keeping one color constantly sorry uh shape i'm sorry shape they are keeping constantly same shape throughout the like whole this much year here is 2015 now it's 2024 still there is the same logo isn't it well this is how you have to think so you you are not only a logo designer you have to be a visionary okay so whenever you are designing a logo so there are a few principles that comes later i will introduce those things but uh, the logo should be timeless see you can see again i will take same example the the shape of that apple design was designed in uh, when uh, 1977 so just to count how many years it was many many decades right so likewise what you have to think is you have to create a logo that is uh, timeless and very very simple and easy to remember okay well so these are the basic technical terms and so color properties are like cool warm bright dark saturated and these are desaturated so basically these are the basic properties okay so cool means very uh, like uh, mix up a bluish color in every color okay so very very cool kind of color you can get uh, you can search on the internet and you can get the idea warm means a little bit uh, creating a fit or warm so yellowish color and bright is like every color is look like very clear clean okay each and every product in each and every color it can be easily identified and dark is mix up a little bit um, dark color or a black color and saturated means uh, more highlighted kind of color and desaturated means uh, putting white a little bit more like just opposite of a dark okay so dark is a little bit dark uh, adding a darker level and in desaturated adding uh, more white okay in uh, saturated like putting a contrast so these are the things well and how to find the color relation okay color relation means how to find your color palette uh, finding a color palette is also um, uh, important so primary color obviously yellow red uh, and uh, blue rgb so after that you can make it a multiple color and uh, so uh primarily this is the color and then what you can do is uh, try to apply the square formula complementary triad analogs and uh, uh tetradic 
and based on these format what you can do is you can identify your color palette okay so it will uh, be easy to uh, it will helpful to what you call play with the foreground and background if you select just opposite of any color like for example if the complementary color is here let's let's select what it means okay so for example this is a background so what i do is i will choose this blue color on a background and at the same time i will choose a bold just just a basic example okay i'm giving a basic example so if i select this uh I drop a tool and this okay i'll make it no impact i'll select some see it is like complementary okay and it is easy to read something but obviously if i play a white then obviously it will be much more like readable but at least we can select these two different color and play with it because it will give you a like primary and secondary color whatever you are creating any logos or or maybe any uh, website or mobile application then it will help you so for example if you select those kind of color then you can create a one button that is highlighted okay like this way okay one button is very very highlighted and you don't want to give a more emphasis one a next button that is a uh, learn more okay and then you can uh, uh like uh play uh let's simply i don't have options again i will use aerial front aerial normal aerial and i'll make this oh sorry and i will apply this so okay and i will do here i'll bring it up front and this see this is how you can play for a website uh, you, you are creating a website then you wanted to give more emphasis on one particular color obviously we can do the vice versa there is no any specific rules okay for example let's say i will do vice versa differently change okay still it gives a primary and a secondary fields on that particular uh, button on ctl okay so you can play um, uh, along and you can uh, like experiment with your design and that uh, design like it should be easy to read easy to follow okay uh, don't let your customer think about what where should i go from first part to second part or anything it's like just they have to feel okay i have to go this and i have to go this they don't have to invest or they don't have to think or they don't have to use their brain to like move from one place to another place okay it's just your job to make things very clear okay <laughs> so that color create something very uh like uh what do you call it? um unique and identic or or uh very uh contrast in uh, the things that's why you need to uh, very very selective while uh, selecting a color and try to apply this kind of of framework whenever you are learning okay once you are master or once you are experienced then uh, you don't uh, like you don't invest much more time because everything will be like in your brain and your unconscious mind will automatically work accordingly and you'll be able to identify the colors and things in a very easy way but as, as a beginner person that you have to practice on a specific way okay for example so let's say uh, you confuse how to identify the color like uh, complementary color then just there is a online tools okay so uh, add a color okay so here you can click here and see there is a monochromatic triad complementary so just the opposite right so you can identify the which color uh, be good and you can select any uh, color palette for your uh, application or if you want to explore go for it you can like find lots of color okay and there are other tools also you can select from your what image and you can bring out the color palette also so you can experiment you need to experiment until and unless you are not experimenting with your design or with your color then obviously you can be like a uh, master okay so for example here you can see the example the that particular image that 
uh, used and from that particular image the this kind of color pattern is uh, come up okay so likewise well uh, i think this must for today's okay so there is one article i'm sharing with you okay if anyone is following my video and i will like highly recommend it's from the hub sport okay i'm not promoting it's not a sponsor it's just that i found it the article is very very good okay there are everything for example uh, there is a video also about the color theory color science so color theory like there is one uh, diagram so how can i choose and what are the primary color red yellow and blue as i mentioned so and based on that mix of the uh, two different color like if you mix ye uh, red and yellow it will come orange and blue and red purple so these are the color and what are the uh, tertiary color means uh, mix of three different color like red purple red purple so and uh, magenta will come uh, sorry uh, red and purple so these are the color mix of how you can mix okay and there is a color wheel like so hue tint tone and shade there is a difference hue means like pure color okay so and uh, tint means a little bit mix of hue plus white and tone means hue plus white and black okay shade means hue plus black so th this is the mix of a uh, uh, color wheel okay so uh, based on your project based on your company brand based on your uh, what do you call it research okay uh, and uh, the company's uh, product and services so those are the things that are related with that particular your research you have to do more research before choosing any 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 color okay you need to invest lots of time doing research and based on your research only you can come out with a specific what you call reason only then you can justify your uh, choices okay if you like re choose any randomly any color like okay red is like uh, revolutionary things that's why i choose red no it won't work okay you need to justify the things anyway so as i mentioned like cmyk so there are uh, four different colors sign magenta and yellow and rgb also for the digital color and what is the meaning of that red like there is a one uh, section also red means typically associated with the power passion or energy and can help encourage action on your side so simply let's say a uh, real estate company is there okay so real estate company like every like uh, accumulate every everything there is a meaning like associated with the power passion or energy okay in real estate company obviously here in ua like you should be a very energetic person okay only then you can sell the property or you can like build a trust also uh, or, or you can be like very very passionate or you can bring energy so these are the things and at the same time you need to build the trust also so that that means there is a red also can be justifiable blue also can be justifiable and the uh property real estate is the home home is the nature like you need to feel the very peace and calm the white also very like uh, sim uh can be matched with the real estate so what kind of color might be good for the real estate okay so try to understand what they are looking for and how they are uh, going to do a branding and marketing for their real estate company they have to do right so they are a very, uh, slow kind of thing like like a lion like a lion works very slowly right obviously when they are trying to attack then obviously they are very aggressive but very calm kind of attitude they have so what kind of attitude the company have okay how they are moving in the market okay what kind of uh, like work they are doing what kind of services they are offering in real estate okay uh, they are the actual like uh, uh, what do you called uh, the uh, flat or the uh, building a builder or something so you need to understand their uh, like a structure okay and then you can select the color likewise it's very very a good article okay and there is one uh what do you call uh, color schemes to select okay so monochromatic and analogs okay so you can get uh you can read all the details and you can get the ideas okay so it's split and the triadic so yeah square uh in, in short i try to explain what are those things and uh how you can like uh, create a color palette also i try to uh, give you uh, some basic idea so and you can see the example also here well this is it for the color it's just that 
un like understanding color and understanding the color psychology doesn't mean that you are master over the color and you can select any color that you uh, like that 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 is not the true as as a logo designer you have to do your research about your uh, the uh, brand the company and based on your research and based on their performance based on their like uh, mission vision and then you need to select a good uh, color and then you can you can bring or you can create some other palette for their branding and for their marketing purpose okay well i think that's all for today's video i hope you able to learn something i don't know uh, what are the things that you have learned okay if i am wrong then please do let me comment and uh, i would like to correct the things and i'm trying to share the experience that i have gained in a very very simple and basic way so that a uh, very absolute beginner can understand what it is when you are starting as as a logo designer or as a logo uh, graphic designer so this color theory part doesn't only uh, like uh, help to uh, for those logo designer it helps for the uh, graphic designer it helps for the uh, software developer who are in multiple industries like who are uh, related with the user experience with the colors uh, or who are related with the designing things architectures also like when they are building a structure and they need to play with the color so this kind of uh, color uh, theory is uh, understanding the color psychology is much more helpful for any kind of profession okay and even if the business if he, any business owner also can get the benefit by understanding the color theory because you can set the a kind of tone maybe you can see currently we are we can see the like uh, a, a thematic version of interior design right so there might be uh, and and we can see the rolls way car the thematic version of what you called a car design customized color version i i uh, i read one article and i saw one video that i found that um, i think 40 or 60 more than 60,000 color palette they have so based on their uh, customers data and based on that color palette the customer can uh, uh, select the uh, color and then they uh, build their car that's why it's quite expensive and that's why it has one status over all other cars okay so that's all for this video and uh, i'll see you on the next video and thank you bye bye